Hi, welcome back. Adam Rosen here. Thanks again for tuning in. If you haven't already subscribed, uh, please subscribe and be sure to click the little bell button, which will alert you when new episodes like this come up. Today, I want to talk to you about something pretty quick and pretty short, but it's a very common question that a lot of people have, and actually a big misconception, even in healthcare professionals outside the field of orthopedics. And, and that is, how long does this thing last? Um, a lot of people have this misperception that it lasts 10 years and you have to wait till you're very old because you can only do it once. Now, the good news is you can have the knee done over, what we call a revision, multiple times. Um, but the less, the better, because the more operations that you have, the more complications occur. But based on all of the studies, and I'm not here to bore you with 30 studies and all the meta-analysis, but current technology, what we have as far as the metal and the plastic and the metal, that what many studies show at 20 years, 90% of these knees are functioning just fine. And at 30 years, 70% of these knees are functioning just fine. So if you're 65 and you have a knee replacement today, at 85, nine out of 10 times, it's working just fine for you. And even if you make it another 10 years to 95, seven out of 10 of you are gonna be just fine. So the thing that I tell my patients is, you know, don't wait till some arbitrary age. You know, if you're 58 and have severe arthritis and you're suffering, you're not trying to wait till some arbitrary age, you become more disabled, you have a decreased quality of life, just to hit some number in the hopes that you might not need it done in your life. And that's the good news because even when we look at some of our long-term data, you look at some of these studies at 25 and 30 years, the good news, bad news, depending on how you look at it, is a lot, a lot of these patients aren't even able to be contacted or put in the study because they've passed away, usually from age or some other related disease, but they never had to have the knee replacement redone. So as far as things that might decrease those percentages for you. So what we don't know, and there's a, a change lately going on about high impact activity. We always used to say avoid high impact activity, although some surgeons are allowing their patients to go back to high impact activity and running. We think that that might decrease those years that you get out of the implant. The other thing would be weight. People that are significantly overweight are putting more force on both the plastic and the interface between the bone and the metal and that might lead to earlier wear of the plastic insert. Um, and then other things can happen around the knee where the implant doesn't fail, but if you get an infection, the implant may need to be revised for that reason. Or if you fall and break the bone above or below the knee, the implant may need to be revised at the time that they fix the fracture. But it is revisable, so even if you were younger and had it put in and it did fail, most commonly what happens is the plastic insert fails. And what we can actually do is go in and remove the plastic insert, it's modular in most knee replacements, and then put a new plastic insert in. It's a revision, and people sometimes say, you know, is it not a big deal? It's a surgery, it's a surgery on you, so I always consider it a big deal, but it is typically less invasive, less painful, and a shorter recovery, as opposed to the initial operation that you had done where we do all of the bone work. So I hope that answers a lot of the questions that you may have had about how long does this thing last? Um, if you enjoy this information, click the thumbs up button. It helps people like you find information like this. And if you haven't checked out the other videos or my book, the knee book, which you can find on Amazon, it'll give you more information like this about knee, knee pain, knee arthritis, and knee replacement in general. So thanks again for watching. I'm Adam Rosen. Until next time, stay safe.